Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning. We're still stuck in this spring pattern for sure across a lot of the Intermountain West. Just it's a waiting game for the next storm system that arrives 414 through 417. A little earlier than that in California because that's the direction it's coming from. But you can see the timeline here for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, and the Sierra. For example, in the Wasatch, I'm forecasting moderate to heavy snow accumulation late 414 through 416. In Colorado, moderate to heavy snow accumulation late 414 through 417. And when that storm arrives in California, the snow levels are going to be quite high. They may start at eight or 9,000 and then fall to like 7,500 and 7,000. So it's going to be a higher elevation snow uh, just because of how warm things are going to be when that uh, when that hits on arrival. All right, let's look at the jet pattern. And part of it has to do with this. You can see the ridging over the West Coast. I mean, it's warm. We're just, again, waiting on this pattern to shift. So that's your jet by close of business today. And here we are tomorrow. There's 412. Here comes the storm system. It affects California 413. Then it makes its move into the interior 414 and 415 running through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and then it moves away. But the northern branch, there's a second piece that rotates in behind it. You can see the trough with the northern branch on 416 and 417, and then it moves away. All right, let's look at precip. So the forecast radar and satellite. This is uh, 530 today. Little bit of snow, one inch or less across the continental divide of Colorado with this little streak, this little front of snow that's diving in um, today. All right, let's go to 411. Beautiful day across a lot of the Intermountain West. There's 412. Here comes the storm into California with high snow levels, 413. Makes its move, 414, 415. Snow in Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. Looks like rain for Denver during the afternoon on 415. And then that storm moves away, but a second one rotates in behind it, and that one delivers a nice shot of snow with some colder temps across a lot of the Intermountain West, and it keeps going into 418 across Colorado on the Continental Divide. Okay, let's look at the numbers. Here's what I've got. Latest grand total map by late 419. Numbers in the, uh, the Wasatch have definitely gone down. Anywhere from 4 to 10, 4 to 8, somewhere in there. Colorado gets clipped by both storm systems, so the numbers across the I-70 corridor in north are pretty good. Anywhere from 8 to 16, maybe even more in some locations. Um, 5 to 10 up in the, in the Tetons. Um, some pretty good stuff through Hoggeton and, and Red Lodge. And the numbers in the Sierra are very tricky. These are mid-mountain numbers, so they're going to be a little bit lower. If you were higher up on the mountain or up on the highest peaks of California, you'd get a lot more snow than what I'm showing here, certainly well over a foot on those higher peaks. Let me break it down by time period. So today through tomorrow, pretty light stuff. There's nothing there. Second time period, 412 through 414, storm hits California, begins to make its move into the interior. And 415 through 419, this is where we see that storm set up. And then the second one kind of rotates in behind it from the north. So we'll get some decent accumulations here. And that's where we pick up the bulk of the, uh, the accumulation. Wyoming, Montana, Colorado, Utah, and Idaho. Um, okay, one last stop. In the northeast, nothing here has changed. Mainly rain for late 410, 11, 12, 13. Maybe changes over to a little bit of snow at the highest of elevations at the very end. Um, but still, nothing major on the board for the Northeast. All right, we'll end on the grand total map here for this morning. Totals by late 419. There you go. Some decent snow, but again, we're really into a spring pattern now. Um, on, uh, it is now April 10th, and um, that'll obviously be the case moving forward. We'll have to look at uh, you know the rain snow lines, the snow levels. As we get further into April, that's just inevitable. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it, and take care.